Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Expedition. Today I want to show you my Taycan option. This option is ACC, Active Cruise Control, and ALK, Active Lane Keep. This is the menu right there, and that is showing me the car in front. Is that far away? That's the closest setting I, I can set to set the distance for Active Cruise Control. There's a hidden button on the bottom, so you can click that that comes up so now with this steering wheel up and down to control that menu lane keep assist active lane keeping Porsche inner drive ACC and limiter lane keep assist is like default Taycan sensor in the front will recognize the lane right now it, it is off these lines over here and this line little lines will turn green once it recognizes the lanes both system it is green right so right now if i let go of the steering wheel it will drive itself because it's green so it recognizes the lane now it's turning by itself i mean you got to monitor the steering wheel basic version of auto drive once in a while you get that message please take over steering so all you have to do is grab it it goes away or you slide pressure like this and it will come alive so I set it to the closest distance. There's this lever. Down is closest, but if I push it up, it increases the cruise control distance. But I set it to the closest because even the closest is far. When I activate the turn signal, it doesn't engage the lane keep because car knows that I'm, I want to switch lanes. So what I do is I set the cruise control to, you know, 75, 80 it does braking for me so right now car in front is braking i'm not applying any brakes i'm, I'm away from the brake pedal but it is still braking for me see automatic everything's automatic once it recognizes the green lines now the handle and it drives itself that is the lane keep assist so lane keep assist is very basic function but then if you pay the extra with the inner drive and select active lane keeping so when you turn that off handle disappears and it's just the car symbol if it's going out of the lane look it turns red and it pushes the car back to the center i know a lot of the people from the forum is saying it does the ping pong effect so it goes to the left then it hits the wall and it does it turns red and then it goes to the right and then so it keeps doing the slow ping pong uh, effect that's because you guys don't have the option of active lane keeping so once you engage that steering wheel comes up and you set it to 75 now the steering wheel is green right literally even if it doesn't recognize the lanes it does auto braking because of active cruise control and active uh, steering wheel control. I don't have to literally do anything. This is the next level, the Porsche Auto Drive. See, it just turned itself. And at this moment, um, it's driving itself. So sometimes this is please take over steering, just hold on to it and then yank it a little bit. Make sure that steering wheel, if you have that option to turn it on because it's next level. It doesn't do ping pong effects. See, it's just driving. Right now it's curving to the left. Um, Porsche is doing everything. It didn't recognize the lane. See, the lane is grayed out. It does the auto drive right now. That's incredible. So this option gives you the next level auto drive. So I know some people on the forum says, hey, I bought the Porsche to drive, right? Like the feeling of driving. But as a daily driver and a daily car, bumper to bumper traffic sucks. Look at this. Now I don't have to engage my brake pedal or accelerator. Um, see, I set it to 75. So when there's no traffic, it will reach 75 miles per hour. But if there's a traffic, it keeps that distance between the front car and my car. Active lane keeping. That function is different from lane keep assist. So don't get confused. And also, you know, there is an inner drive. So right here, Porsche Inner Drive, I turned that off because Porsche Inner Drive recognizes the street sign 
like 75 miles per hour, 65 miles per hour, and it will literally automatically slow down for you. So then a lot of uh, the Taycan owners are kind of surprised by how quickly it stops to uh, slow down to the speed limit. They don't like using that function. Uh, active lane keeping option with the ACC, that was like $3,500 option. If you just hold on to it, it goes up by five. And if you just hold back, it goes down by five. So it's not going by itself. You just have to tap it and now it's engaged. I, I love it. Day-to-day -day traffic, if you use the Taycan daily, get this. What happens, say someone falls asleep during the auto drive. Active lane keeping is activated. That's the upgraded version of the auto drive. Please take over steering. And imagine that person is sleeping, hopefully not, now it turned red. It's giving me the chime, right? But still auto drives for a little bit. And then now it's just, it's pulling my seatbelt. And uh, that's what it says right there. So it's pulling my seatbelt hard, like several times, like five, six times. It's just tugging on it hard for five, six times until the user wakes up and it's applying the brakes or you will never see a Taycan owner sleeping on the road because it will immediately stop in the middle of the freeway, basically. If, if that person happens to fall asleep while driving, Taycan is trying to wake you up, it's still auto driving for you, and if you don't wake up, then Taycan will stop the car completely on the road. Thank you for viewing my video and see you on the next one.